Lap up a cigar audit, Matt and J Rod here to review the Hoyo de Monterey Epicure number two from good old Cuba. So, uh, Jared, if you don't mind, take a look at your cigar and see what it looks, smells, and feels like. It uh, looks like a cigar. Does it look like a cigar? I mean, it's pretty similar to one anyway. You get that, uh, I get a very musty yeah, barnyard. barnyard aroma. Definitely barnyard. Um, very strong. Actually, we just opened the box. These are the first two sticks out of this box. And uh, it is a fairly young box. It is from July of 2016. I'll get the box code here. But uh, but in general, what else do you? What else does your cigar look like, sir? Uh, construction so far looks like it uh, seems look pretty good. I see a couple little veins in there, but it is a leaf. So. It, it is a leaf. That is true. Uh, master of the obvious. Yeah. Um, I would say that it definitely has a uh, waxy sheen to it. Um, the seams are very tight, veins are minimal, there's a few veins, um, but uh, definitely has a, has a nice feel and look to it. So looking forward to smoking this. And we'll get this cut up, see how the pre-lay is. It's pretty tightly packed too. Oh, before we do the pre-lay, I better move this out of the way. Um, <laughs> Just to be safe. We don't want anybody to get hurt. No accidents. We'll be back with the pre-lay. Don't pay off. All right. I just took a big ass chunk out of my hand. <laughs> mm. really no, you did. did not, did you? <laughs> yep. Definitely get a, I'm going to say, um, a little bit of sweetness to it. What are you getting out of it? Hay. Yeah, I would say a hay, hay, like a sweet hay. Yeah, a lot of hay. And, and a grassiness, kind of like a fresh green grass. Um, like a freshly cut lawn. Kinda, yeah. This tastes pretty good, so let's get this toasted up. Um, before we get on the, uh, the first uh, impressions, uh, I, I mentioned the box code. The box code, of this is OPS July 2016. So this nice, beautiful Cuban Hoya de Monterey Epicure number two. Jared, your first thoughts, sir? First thoughts, uh, pretty strong on the black pepper there in the beginning. And, uh, probably some, some cream in the background there. Subtle, but it's there. And uh, that, that that sweet tobacco taste that's famous, or uh, Cuba is famous for. Cuban twang. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I would say, uh, Cuban, Cuban Pute. Cuban Tang. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm all about it. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, no, this, uh, I, I definitely get all those things. I get, I, and I get a little bit of earth to it. Um, kind of like a, a little bit of a gritty earth, and it might be that black pepper that you're talking about, mm -hmm. but um, I would say, uh, so kind of a gritty nutmeg um, earth um, on, on the beginning with, and it turns to a black pepper, it's, but it's enjoyable. It's very smooth. Um, and the smoke is heavy. It's, it's very heavy, very thick, lots of it. It's, it's great. And through the nose, I get vegetal sweetness and white pepper all the way. Yeah. I'm, I don't get any pepper. It's like totally smooth on the retro hill. No white pepper? Right? No. Oh, okay. I'm getting some kind of, I don't know, like a... Vegetal in it? Yeah. I'm, maybe it is like a green pepper. Yeah. Or something. Like a bell pepper, but, yeah. uh, but very, very enjoyable. So. Smooth though. It's there, but the, the retro house would be a little rough. Mm -hmm. But it's not. Ah, it's really smooth and it's, it's uh, tasty. Even a little bit of uh, sweetness at the end of that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so so far so good. So we'll smoke this down, finish the first third, and we'll let you know how it progressed. Get that sweet Cuban tang. Welcome back to Cigar Audit. Matt and J Rod here to go over the first third of the Hoyo de Monterey Epicure Number Two. So um, just to start things off, we are pairing this with a pure white Hennessy, um, which is, is a, a great uh, cognac you can find outside of the United States. And uh, I will say that it's a, it's a very well-blended cognac that gives you hints of vanilla and uh, natural grape, but um, maybe a little too uh, strong for this particular cigar since this is medium body, but Still enjoyable and having a good time, so. Very good. Very Who the hell cares? Very tasty. 
Mm. Who the hell cares? God, so good. It's like a party in my mouth. Mmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, I like party in your mouth. Yeah. What? You're invited. Oh. Mm. The pants party? Anyway, so uh, <laughs> moving on to the first third of this cigar. Uh, Jared, how was your first third, sir? First third was good. Uh, very good. Um, a lot of that bell pepper coming through the nose. That uh, still a little bit of hay in there. Touch of earth. I'm not getting a lot of earth, but it's there. And uh, yeah. A couple times, well, more than a couple times, um, I'm getting the, uh, it's gonna sound like it's a little gross, but it's not. I'm getting some, like, that yard green onion flavor mm -hmm. through the nose, and uh, at first it just kind of caught me off guard, because I've never had that in a cigar before, but uh, I rather enjoy it. It's very mm -hmm. good. It matches the, the other vegetal notes that are already present with the bell pepper nicely. It's Absolutely. Good. Very Absolutely. tasty. Absolutely. I'm getting... Um, mm -hmm. Very similar flavors. Um, that that vegetal um, sweetness at towards the end of this third turned into more of a fruity sweetness. Kind of a generic fruit, um, nothing specific, but um, but definitely a a creamy, um, smooth Cuban tobacco flavor. Um, and and I, I get some of that that hay and grassiness. Um, on occasion, on the finish, it, the, the earth does turn to a darker earth. Um, but through the nose, I get a white pepper, uh, the vegetal note, and um, a little bit of that green pepper here and there, or, or green onion that, that Jared was talking about. And uh, you know, through the finish, it's definitely a like a, a nutmeg and black pepper, uh, but very smooth. So what what I really like about this so far is I'm getting um, something different on the draw versus the retro hail versus the finish. Oh, very different. It's, it's definitely, as uh, you like to call it, complex. Yeah, it is. It's, it's, it's complex. complex season. It's uh, all kinds of flavors going on. You notice some, like you said, different through the regular than the retro hail, the finish, <laughs> that black pepper kind of sings on the back of your tongue, kind of hangs around. Absolutely. For, for quite, that's the, that's the thing I'm getting most in the finish that hangs around the longest is that black pepper mm -hmm. and the vegetal food. And the finish, I would say in general, I think the body of the cigar, as far as the, the flavor is concerned, is, is a medium to medium full at times. Yep. yep. Strength is very mild, I think. I chew tobacco, so I don't notice any nicotine yeah. whatsoever. Yeah, this this is this is pretty pretty uh, pretty yeah. mild, but uh, but in general, I mean, construction's good. You can see that my ash is, is holding up well, um, and uh, you know, since Ed isn't here. Jared decided to ash on the table in, in typical Ed fashion. Yeah. So something well, about the chair. It was a, uh, it was done out of respect. Oh Since yeah, Ed can't be here. It's like a, you know? it's a missing man formation. Yeah, dude. You know, <laughs> hook it up. Yeah, it couldn't make it, so someone has to fill that space. You know, Those, somebody's got to fuck it up. I didn't. You know, I did it. <laughs> May as well be me. But hey, at least I cut my cigar, not myself this time. <laughs> yeah, that's a good thing. Awesome. So, so far, so good. We're, we're really excited. Good first third. So we'll be back after the second third and see how it progresses. Welcome back to Cigar Audit. <laughs> Matt and J-Rod here listening some, to some interesting music. Um, we're here to review the second third of the Hoya de Monterey Epicure number two. So uh, J-Rod, what have you gotten in your second third, sir? Pretty much the same. Uh, not much change, uh, uh, subtle changes with the uh, earth picked up a little bit for me. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, the black pepper kind of came back and I'm getting a little stronger uh, black pepper on the retro hail as opposed to just being really smooth and more of a white pepper, I guess. Yep. But uh, outside of that, uh, I had to touch up the burn twice. Uh, nothing serious, it wasn't crazy, but uh, still getting tons and tons of smoke output on this thing. Mm -hmm. I'm loving it. And uh, yeah, outside of that, can't complain. I'm liking it a lot. I am too. Um, I would agree that the earth has kind of kicked up a little bit in this third. Um, the finish, I think, is a little deeper. Um, and the black pepper has definitely kicked up. I, I agree with you there. Um, and, and I get, you know, uh, I still get that vegetal note. I think that the, uh, the fruit sweetness has gone away. It's back to vegetal. So that's really the big change that I've noticed, and, and we both actually talked about leather notes that we were getting uh, occasionally. Try forgot about that. Yeah, it's 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 a, you know, I think it's a really good stick, um, and it's performing well. I don't expect a whole lot of transition in this cigar. I've had them before, um, but these are the first two out of this box. But so far, I, I did a minor touch up too, um, but 
they're not even a year old. So for Cubans, um, that's a, a really young cigar. But um, I, I think it's smooth, but it definitely has more of that black pepper that yep. gives you a little bit more of that, that, that grubbiness. Yeah. Not a, yeah, in the last, I would say, three or four draws I've had, the, the, the vegetal bell pepper with a little bit of cream and a little bit of just a hint of sweetness is definitely coming back. So, uh, so far, so good. So we'll get further down in the cigar and we'll let you know how it progresses. <laughs> Welcome back to Cigar Audit. Uh, <laughs> Get a little punchy here. Uh, welcome back with uh, Matt and J Rod here to finish up the Hoyo de Monterey Epicure number two. Um, so, uh, Jared, your last third, sir? My last third is uh, pretty much more the same. I uh, had a couple of more touch ups going on, like uh, he was saying. I think it's just because they're a little on the younger side still. Still might be a little wet down there towards the, the last third. Mm -hmm. um, just uh, the uh, vegetal stuff kind of went away, got overtaken by a little more pepper and uh, a little more uh, just straight tobacco and, uh, and, uh, and some leather notes in there as well. Definitely. Still good though, I'm still enjoying it. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm nubbing it here and um, I, I would say the same. I think the earth has kind of kicked up even more. It's, it, it's gotten a little less refined at the end here. Um, although it's hard to complain when I'm down to basically burning my fingers, but but in general, I would say the same. I think that the the vegetal sweetness has kind of stepped back a little bit. It's an earth, definitely mixed with a like a nutmeg and a, and a black pepper, um, and through the nose, it got pretty spicy here at the end. But um, but it's certainly a very good cigar. Well constructed, even though we had some relights, I, I got to give it a little bit of a pass because it's less than a year old. Um, but in general, I would say that uh, that the, the flavors are very pleasant, and typically you're you're getting something different from the the retro hail and the draw and the finish. Um, finish is pretty long. Um, I would say in general, I'm going to say this is a medium body smoke. Mm, I'd say medium to medium full. Yeah, at times it was it was yeah. pretty strong, medium full in flavor, but uh, uh, nicotine it's medium to mild. It, it's on the low end of uh, medium. Um, yeah, you don't really necessarily tell, but I can tell here at the end it, it's it's definitely kick up a little bit, so you get a little bit of a little bit of a hint of a buzz here, but not much. Um, but very pleasant, uh, a very well constructed, well rolled cigar. Draw has been great throughout. Smoke has been plentiful throughout. So uh, very enjoyable. So uh, go to the, the difficult part, Jared. Um, how would you rate said cigar? Um, it started out awesome. It continued to be nothing but awesomeness in the uh, second third as well. Um, when the final third came in, I had a number in my head, but I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit. And uh, I only say that again, I, don't, I think with some more aging on these, I think the last third will definitely take up and probably be more pleasant. That's just my uh, suspicion. Mm -hmm. um, so overall with everything, um, I'm gonna give it a solid 93. Jared, look at my fingers. 93. Exact same note. You know, I would have said this was a 95 cigar through the first two thirds. Um, I'd take it back a little bit because of its youth and its lack of refinement in the last third. But um, I, I tell you what, the first two thirds, especially the first half of this cigar, mm. were, were amazing. Phenomenal. So I'm so excited that, that I have uh, 23 of them left. <laughs> well, he's sleeping. I'm going to steal one of his humidor, <laughs> agent myself and mine. Yeah, it's uh, the house. I tell you another another uh, six months, and I, I bet you these for for this young of a cigar is is going to be pushing mid nineties, and that's it's going to be hard to stay away from. And these are, yeah. as far as Cubans are concerned, they're a little bit more of your everyday Cuban cigar. You know, you buy them by the box, you probably get them for seven, eight dollars a stick, um, and at at that rate, it's it's hard to leave them leave them sit when they taste that good but yeah. uh, I would say another six months to a year and, and these will be in really good condition maybe yeah. another year and they're prime yeah. so like, I, I really enjoyed those first two thirds I was even thinking 
not quite, but maybe in 96, even yeah. just in the first little bit, I was like, oh. And then, yeah, it just needs a little more time, and I think it's gonna be one of my absolute favorites up there with some of my other ones. Like, yeah, and you're a big fan of the Boulevard Royal Corona. I love those. So th these are uh, very similar Batolas. They're both Robustos, um, and uh, flavor profile's different. Yeah. Um, more vegetable creaminess, a little bit of, uh, um, I would say, uh, certainly leather oh, yeah. and, and a little bit of fruit, but um, but I think it's a, a great cigar, so. Oh yeah. So anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Check us out on the Instagram, Twitter, FaceTube, all that stuff. And uh, don't forget to check out CigarAudit.com. Last the words. And there he is. We'll Man, see you next time. Holla. Holla, holla. See you. Oh, goodness. <clears throat> Welcome back to Cigar Audit. Matt and J-Rod here to finish up the what's left of my Hoya de Nicar no? What mm -hmm. are we doing? Hoya de Monterey? I don't know. What the fuck are we saying? What the fuck are we smoking? <laughs> Hoya de Monterey. <laughs> Epicure numero, numero dos. Numero dos. Let's try that again. <laughs>